Hey guys, thank you for joining Lunch Breaks with John again. Uh, I'm your host, John, and um, we're on another training day at my at my work, talking about having conversations with customers and things like that. And you see why I'm wearing this napkin here, I'll explain. It's because they provided us lunch today and it's barbecue. So it could be kind of messy, so I'm just trying not to mess up my shirt and that's why I have that on. Um, but we're gonna eat a little bit of this. Mmm. That's some good barbecue. <clears throat> Mac and cheese is good. We got some uh, potato salad here too. Pretty good. <clears throat> but um <clears throat> so it's been it's been a pretty good week so far. This is um I normally record on Thursdays and today is a Thursday as well. I almost thought I wasn't gonna be able to record during my lunch today because yesterday um, we did a working lunch during my training where it, they were kind of behind schedule so we kind of just ate <clears throat> at the tables while they um, while they went through some of the training and stuff but they um, they had some extra time so they gave us about 45 minute lunch today so I was like okay I can go ahead and do my lunch today. Otherwise, I would have had to record after getting off work or something like that. Um, but so, just kind of an update on what's been going on. Obviously, I told you going through training. Um, I'll probably be still. I actually have started. Um, I have started working at my job a little bit last week and this week <clears throat> doing some transactions and things like that at my bank um, but I'll still have training here and there for probably the next three or four weeks maybe the next month um, just on like opening accounts doing loan applications things like that um, And it, I mean, so far, the experience has been has been great. Uh, I love this company. I um, love the people. The training has been some of the best training I've had at any job I've worked at. Um, where they actually, you're not just, you know, told to watch a couple, you know five different videos on the about the company and then expect it to be able to perform out there on the job um, <clears throat> to the fullest capacity when you're not actually having a lot of in-person training um, formal training things like that and I've had more formal training here than I feel like I have probably all my other jobs combined um, so it's really nice it's been a good experience and I feel like I'm getting a lot out of it. Um, <clears throat> another thing I want to talk about is one of my friends is um, well, he's been telling me about a lot of different books he's reading and stuff like that. And guys, I'm I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm I I like books, but I'm a terrible reader. Um, I'm probably working on four or five different books that I've been trying to read for the past at least three to six months and haven't really finished any of them. <clears throat> but my friend has been using Audible recently and he's been telling me that I should do, I should uh, try it out and everything and 
So yesterday I asked him, I was like, all right, how much does Audible cost? And he told me they're having a special right now, which it might not be anymore once you guys see this video. Um, it was on Amazon Prime. They had a Prime special, I think, for the month of June. And, well, today's July 1st, so when when this is recording. So that special might not be there anymore. Um, <clears throat> but it's four four months of Audible Premium, I think is what it's called, for um, like six six ninety nine each month or something like that. So it's a pretty good deal. Um, definitely worth it. I tried Audible, I think, once in the past, but um, I think it was just a little too, too expensive for me at the time. I was not really as... Uh, as good with finances back then and everything. It was kind of while I was in college and stuff, so I just, I didn't bother with it. But I, I got it yesterday. I started listening to a book that that I have, actually, that I, I own the physical copy of the book, but I decided to go ahead and get it on Audible because um, <clears throat> I've just never got around to actually reading the whole book, and it's called The, Three, the 360 Earth. 360 degree leader, 360 degree leader by John Maxwell. Um, it's, it's really good so far. Talks about how to be a leader kind of anywhere in an organization. Um, you know, most people think, you know, to, to be able to lead in a corporation you have to have a position of authority a manager position or something like that or business owner but that's not always the case I mean sometimes there's middle management positions sometimes there's um, you know other kind of leadership positions that are lower or in the middle ranks but um, but this book talks about how you can be, how you can mostly be effective and be able to lead kind of anywhere in an organization without having to be the top dog or the, um, without having to be the CEO or the, the, the restaurant owner, the business owner, things like that. <clears throat> so yeah, it's, it's been really good. There's several other books that I want to read on. Audible, but I'm going to force myself to stick with this one until I finish it. Um, if you have any recommendations of books you would um, that you think would be good to read, or ones that you've that you've really enjoyed reading, I'd love to hear your recommendations in the comments. Let's see what else is there to talk about. <clears throat> um, oh, so, yeah, another thing is there's, I like, I like to play board games a lot. That's one of the things that, um, my wife and I and some of my friends like to do, um, to have game nights or just play board games when, um, you know, if we can't think of much else to do. And recently my wife and I went on a vacation to East Tennessee and went to we got to see some old friends there while we were out there and they they showed us this game called Splendor. It's um I don't know if you'd call it a board game or a card game or what, but it has, it doesn't really have a game board, but it, ha it comes in a box like a board game. It has a bunch of cards and it has tokens um, <clears throat> that you, you use to like purchase the different cards and then um, you're supposed to make it to a certain amount of points. I think it's like 16 points. 
Um, but I was recently looking at buying that. We went to a game store in, in Little Rock and we found that game. But then the guy working there said, you know, there's this other one too, a different version of it called Marvel Splendor. The front of it shows um, the cover of the box has Thanos on there with the Infinity Gauntlet with the different Infinity Stones and everything and then it shows some of like the Avengers as well on there so I was like hmm that looks pretty cool now <clears throat> at that game store it was about I think that game was about 45 bucks or something like that 45 to 50 dollars but my friend was with me when when we were looking at those looking at that store and he was like dude I'm pretty sure I saw this game or at least the regular edition of the game for like 30 dollars at Walmart I'm like are you sure and he's like yeah I know I've seen it there multiple times so we decided to leave and go to Walmart and check it out couldn't find it there we checked a couple different Walmarts in the area but we didn't see any and after I um, you know after we dropped him off and then my wife and I went home um, on the way home I decided to stop by Target and Barnes and Noble surprisingly neither of them had it either I thought for sure Barnes and Noble would but they didn't so <clears throat> anyway I think that was maybe two weeks ago or something like that <clears throat> well it was two or three weeks ago and then um, right around that time <clears throat> we uh, no, I was just looking at Amazon Prime and I noticed that I got a notification that it was Prime Day uh, I don't remember the date that that was. It was a, it wasn't wasn't this past Monday. It might have been the Monday before that, or maybe two Mondays. I don't know. But um, so I I was like, hmm, I'm gonna check out Splendor, see if it's on there. And the regular price for it on there, I think for for the regular edition was like thirty dollars, and then they had the Marvel one for like thirty five. But then with the discount that brought the Marvel one down to like 28 bucks and I'm like you know what I think I'm gonna get that one because I'm a big Marvel fan I like all those Marvel movies as we've discussed before on this show and um, so I bought it it arrived super quick I think it arrived the next day after I ordered it and <clears throat> so my wife and I started playing it we really enjoyed it um, and we uh, played it with my friend a couple times and um, it's just a really fun game I it's it's really cool because it has these tokens that are like oh, I don't know maybe that size or something like that they're kind of heavy weighty sort of like poker chips or something and um, and and each of the tokens is on this Marvel version of the game they're designed to look like infinity stones so it shows a sticker with each, each type of infinity stone on there and then you use those to um, purchase the cards and the cards on this marvel one are different marvel superheroes and villains characters things like that and <clears throat> some of them are worth more points than others some of them have different perks and advantages so it's it's a lot of fun it's I definitely recommend um, if you're if you're into board games or uh, different you know board and card games and things like that especially if you're a superhero nerd like I am um, it's <clears throat> it's a um, it's a good purchase a good investment I guess <laughs> um, we we still my wife and I have played it probably at least two or three times each week the last two weeks so we're getting our money's worth from it um, well there's not a whole lot a whole lot else that I'm 
needing to go over in this episode, I think um, we'll probably get back or go back to <clears throat> the training here in about 15 minutes or so, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, end this episode right here. Thank you again, guys, for joining, and um, if you've if you viewed this uh, this show, um, if you've watched it a couple times, or maybe this is your first time, um, and you haven't already subscribed, I encourage you to subscribe. And um, any comments are welcome, uh, especially if you uh, if you enjoyed the show. Let us know what you let me know what you enjoyed about it. <clears throat> if you have any type of constructive criticism, uh, I would appreciate that as well, um, or anything maybe that you want to see in future episodes. Um, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, but until next time, hope you have a good rest of your day. Rest of your day. Enjoy your lunch if you're on lunch. And we'll see you next time.